If you know anything about the US military, it's probably that it's really good at fighting wars. But did you know a lot of technology that we take for granted was first developed by the military? That's not too hard to believe when you consider how many challenges soldiers face on the battlefield. Hi, I'm Tim with the Connecticut National Guard. On today's countdown, we're looking at 10 military inventions we use every single day. At the end of this list, make sure to let us know your favorite in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Number 10, GPS. The Global Positioning System, or GPS, is a piece of technology we take for granted every single day, either in our cars or on our phones. But did you know it's a military program? The US Navy conducted satellite navigation experiments in the 1960s to track submarines. Using six satellites orbiting Earth's poles, the Navy was able to pinpoint a submarine's exact location in only a few minutes. Fast forward to the 1970s, the Department of Defense wanted to develop a satellite navigation system for military forces around the world. Using the Navy's data, the DoD launched its first satellites, known as Navstar, in 1978. This 24 satellite system went online in 1993 and it's still used in operation today and managed through the US Space Force. Number 9. Superglue About one year into the United States' involvement in World War II, Eastman Kodak chemist Harry Coover was assigned the task of developing clear plastic weapon scopes for the GIs overseas. While working on some possible solutions, Coover and his team stumbled upon a chemical formula that ended up sticking to just about everything it came in contact with. Originally rejected by the team, Coover reapplied his discovery several years later when investigating solutions for heat-resistant polymers to be used in jet canopies. The invention was once again scrapped for military purposes, but found commercial success in 1958 as superglue. Number 8. Water Purifiers People have been attempting to purify water for as long as humans have roamed the earth. I mean, safe drinking water is essential to life, right? And while there is recorded history of the Egyptians, Romans, and Greeks purifying their water, it was a discovery by US Army Brigadier General Carl Rogers Darnall that changed the world. In 1910, while serving as an instructor at the Army Medical School, he invented the mechanical liquid chlorine purifier also known as a chlorinator, a technology which is still widely used by municipal water supplies around the world. Number 7. The walkie-talkie If you ask anyone in the military what the most vital tool on the battlefield is, they'll probably say their communication device. The first handheld two-way radio transceiver was developed in World War II for Allied forces to effectively communicate over long distances. Over the years, as the technology has improved, handheld transceivers have been incorporated into everyday life wherever instant communication is necessary. Some of these include public safety, outdoor recreation, and marine communication. Number 6. DEET The military constantly trains to combat dangers on the battlefield. We often think of these dangers as being enemy combatants or hazards such as mines, tripwires, or IEDs. But some of the most common threats to service members come from the world around them. During World War II, the US Army fought in the jungles of the Pacific Theater, where one of the biggest threats was disease spread by insects. A scientist at the US Department of Agriculture was tasked with developing a repellent to help troops fighting in these conditions. By repurposing a chemical being tested for crops, Samuel Gertler invented DEET, which is still used in insect repellents today. Number 5. Ambulances the concept of getting injured soldiers off the battlefield and away from danger dates back to ancient times. However, there were a few US soldiers who were critical in advancing the ambulance into what we see today. The first two were Joseph Barnes and Jonathan Letterman, two Union soldiers who noticed the process for getting soldiers to a hospital was too slow. These men developed a new system of pre-hospital care and specialized wagons to expedite the delivery of the wounded. Then there was Edward Dalton a former Union soldier who was charged with creating a hospital in New York City. In doing so, he created an ambulance service to help get patients to the hospital faster. His ambulances were also a closer reflection of today's ambulances as they were equipped with medical equipment such as splints, morphine, and brandy. Number 4. Duct Tape The silver fix-it-all we love today has an origin story that dates back to World War II. 
Vesta Stout, a factory worker at the Green River Ordnance Plant in Dixon, Illinois, noticed the seal on ammunition cans were difficult to open. She worried soldiers would waste precious time opening the cans while in combat. So, she wrote a letter to President Roosevelt offering a solution she'd come up with using a strip of duck cloth with an adhesive. Roosevelt sent the idea to the War Production Board, which tasked Johnson & Johnson to develop the idea further. The company had experience making medical adhesive tape for the Army and took it a step further. The new invention involved a strip of duck cloth lined with waterproof plastic and a rubber-based adhesive. The new tape was so effective it became the industry standard for fixing, well, just about everything. Number 3. EpiPens The EpiPen is an auto-injector used by people prone to severe allergic reactions. While there's been some controversy surrounding the price point of this device in recent years, its creation stems from the needs of the U.S. military. In the 1970s, former NASA scientist Sheldon Kaplan was working on an easier way for soldiers to inject nerve gas antidotes while on the battlefield. His invention was the auto-injector pen, which allowed service members to self-administer medication. Today, the auto-injector is used by several different companies to provide patients with the capability to self-provide life-saving medication expeditiously. Number 2. The Microwave The microwave oven is a staple in the modern kitchen. But can you believe it was discovered by accident? Well, sort of. In 1945, it was well documented that short wavelength radiation had the ability to heat things up. However, it wasn't until Percy Spencer, an engineer working on the development of a radar set, noticed the chocolate bar in his pocket started to melt as he ran tests. You could say that's when things started to heat up. Spencer began putting other foods near the radar, such as popcorn and eggs, which yielded the same result. Of course, after one of the eggs exploded, he decided his experiments needed to be done in a more controlled environment. So, he encased the electromagnetic field generator in a metal box and, as they say, the rest is history. Number 1. The Internet Computer science and the military have a long history, the most important of which is undoubtedly the invention of the Internet as we know it today. The Department of Defense and the Advanced Research Projects Agency were looking for a better way to communicate with forces around the world. In 1969, the organization awarded contracts for the development of ARPANET, the first worldwide packet-switched network, basically the technical foundation for the internet you're using to watch this video right now. The first computers were connected in 1969, and the network was declared operational in 1971. ARPANET would continue until 1990 when it was decommissioned after partnerships were built within the telecommunications and computer industries. These partnerships granted private sector expansion and commercialization, which allowed the network to grow into the internet of today. What did you think of our list? Did we forget anything? What's your favorite military invention we still use today? Let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, do us a favor and tap that subscribe button and check out these other videos on the screen right now that we think you might like.